Good evening, Chairman Mendelson and members of the committee and staff. Thank you for the opportunity to testify today about the importance of music education and the arts for our young people and communities. I'm Andrew Lee and am the founding artistic executive director of DC Strings Workshop, also known as DC Strings. It's an east of the river focused serving a nonprofit organization serving and committed to bringing music to all parts of our city especially underserved communities. We're proud to be one of the few organizations in the region that kept the music alive in the middle of the pandemic at a time when many of our largest institutions doors were closed. We applaud Mayor Bowser for her call to create the most robust free before and after school program in the nation. We know that less than half or just 41% of public school students in the district are enrolled in after school programs. Mm -hmm. For summer programs, that number drops to 35% which is unacceptable in our nation's capital. We know that there are difficult decisions that lay ahead. There have been projected budget shortfalls over the next three years with the loss of ESSER funds and other funds. We know hard decisions will have to be made. I'm asking you now to not cut our youth, the arts and programs that create vibrancy and strength and culture here in the district. After school and summer programs are critical to the healthy growth and development of our young people and the communities where they live. To reach full capacity and have universal access, we need to add more than 52,000 spots in after-school programs and another 57,000 spots in summer programs. Despite the mayor's investment in DPR, OST, our summer programs with support from Learn24 will inevitably have a significant waiting list. Currently, DC Strings is serving more than 300 students weekly across DC public and charter schools, teaching piano strings and percussion to a number of students who may not have access to music education otherwise. A majority of our students reside in wards two, six, seven, and eight, where music and access to high quality music performances and arts instruction is not universal. I call on the council to continue to fund critical out of school time funding and to further prioritize music education in DC public schools and charter schools. There should be a band, chorus, or general music arts teacher in every school. The benefits of music education are widely known. I'm sure you don't need me to go into it now. It's in my written testimony, but everything from teamwork and community building to social and emotional skills, uh, to preparing kids for the jobs and careers of the future, whether it's music technology, production, and all of the acts and bands and orchestras that come into town, being able to work either in the orchestra or behind the scenes. Um, as a member of the OST Coalition, I'll say that um, we call on you the DC Council to continue to increase funding, also should, for the 21st Century Community Learning uh, center's program to increase the number of grantees in the cohort. Also increase the maximum award for small nonprofits from 25,000 to 75,000 and continue recreation for all. Thank you for the opportunity to testify on behalf of all of our students and your leadership. Happy to answer any questions.